SSDs are now becoming more affordable and also very fast these days. However, there are a lot of SSDs that we didn't cover. So this is the Pacer AS340, an SSD that actually costs around 2,800 pesos or 2,900 but that depends on what country you are from. But the question is... Okay, so we have the packaging itself with a simple looking box. So here we go, the unboxing experience is just simplistic and the specification is not common here on the box. So we are going to search it on the internet and you are greeted with a plastic case and once opening the case, it's the SSD itself and the bottom of it is none. So there are no warranty, manual and user guides, all in which the SSD is made out of plastic and it has a leopard design that you can actually see on the front with this kind of cyborg ninja thing and also what is really good about this SSD is that it is light but the only main concern that I could say is there are some SSDs that are made of aluminum and this is actually really good especially if you want to do some stress tests and this one can give the potential of an SSD to cool a little bit more that's only just a on the spec side, we have some of the specification right here. So the yellow one that I highlighted is the version that we have now. This is actually just the basic one for boot up times, but hey, it actually works. So now performance wise, there are two laptops that we are going to compare. We have the Samsung 300e with 8 gigs of RAM and Core i3 processor, which is the third gen, versus the Lenovo Flex 14 that has the 4 gigabytes of RAM with an NVIDIA GeForce 720M and a Core i5 4200U. So in terms of boot up times, the same laptops that I compared, it boots up at around 20 seconds, and actually it is impressive. And you can actually compare it from the Kingston V300 now SSD. Restarting the system can actually give you more terms. Uh, speed at around 18 to 19 seconds of boot up time. So now we go on to gaming, we could actually see the loading times is actually good and there are some experiences that it actually improves a little bit more to the FPS when adding a memory upgrade. There are some slight differences between the SSD's performance onto the games in FPS but not too high. So now we go on to the last one. The benchmark from the AES SSD and the Crystal Disk Mark, you can actually tell there are two versions, tweak and untweak. The untweak can actually see the different gaps between the too, and I could say it's not too shabby. So in conclusion, if you want to buy this SSD, it is actually affordable. You can actually get this one from stores that you have now or even you can go to Amazon or Lazada if you want. All I could say is if you want to buy something that is more affordable, I could actually recommend you to get something like the MU3 SSD, the Kingston V400 or if you want something that is a gaming category from a pacer, it's actually the AS350 that is a gaming capable SSD that you can actually do some full gaming experience on this SSD you want so ranking this the SSD is around a plus that I do highly recommend only one minor complaint though is the sign look in the build quality it is actually okay but I do prefer an aluminum to have the best performance and also better cooling experience so that's the end of the episode hope you guys enjoyed leave a like share and sub and I will see you guys in the next one